Zoe Anastasia, and today I'm going to show you how to sew a button onto anything. Did you know that buttons come with different quantities of holes? The most common of these are the two hole button and the four hole button. Today I'm going to show you how to sew a button with four holes. Supply list time! Our supply list is going to be so short. All we need is a hand sewing needle, some matching thread, and your pair of scissors. And of course, you need a button to sew the button. First thing you need to do is thread your needle. I've already threaded mine, so if you don't know how to thread a needle, go ahead and check out my YouTube video on how to thread a needle. Now grab your button, because we're gonna make this button magically hang on this thread. The first step to getting this button hanging on this thread is to take the needle from the bottom up of the button and take the needle from the top of the button down and now flip over your button so this is the back of your button. Now that you have the back of your button and the two threads, we're gonna take the needle and go right in the middle of the two threads and go ahead and pull. And now your button is magically hanging on the thread. Now that we have our magic button hanging on the thread, we are ready to sew this button down. Or you could start hypnotizing somebody. The first thing you need to do is determine where is the button going to go. Now go ahead and mark on your project where the button needs to be. I've marked my cloth with a yellow mark. Now grab your needle and put it through that mark. This is going to be the center of your button. Now go ahead and flip your fabric over. We want to put our needle very close to where our last thread came out. And now when you flip this over, you want to make sure that you're coming out of one of the holes that has the thread loop in it. So now what we want to do is come out of that hole and back into this hole. And when you're going back in, you want to make sure that you're always coming out right by the previous spot of thread because you don't want to end up with a bunch of thread on the back of your fabric. So now go ahead and pull it up. So now we have two loops that we've created through these holes. Now go ahead and do it one more time. Let's do three loops. So put it in real close to where your last thread was. Flip it over, make sure you can get it in the proper hole. Pull it all the way up. Make sure you're not catching any loops on the back. It looks nice and clean. And let's go back down. Okay, so now we, now we have three loops in two holes. Now we are halfway there. Now we need to put three more loops in the other two holes, and we're done. Now we wanna make sure that our needle is coming up in one of the other holes. So go ahead and pull that up, and make sure you're going down into the other hole. So now you can see our thread is crossed in an X, which is great. There's multiple ways you can sew a button. You can make it have a cross, you can make it have two lines, you can make it like a little leaf. We're doing an X. Okay, one more time. Are you guys ready? Can you even believe how easy this was to sew this button? Okay, so now down. And we're gonna flip it over. And so here's what we have on the back for our button. Our threads got a little big. Because our button is huge. Now we want to make a knot. So I like to go through a few pieces of the fiber in the fabric and you wanna make sure that you have this loop. And before you pull it all the way, take your needle and put it in the middle of the loop and then pull. And that's securing a knot. I like to do this twice for my buttons to make sure that they're very, very secure. Okay, believe it or not, that's the last step. All you need to do is cut that thread. And now we have a button on a piece of fabric. How amazing. Don't worry, I know we didn't go over the two and three hole buttons, but this technique works for them as well. Thanks so much for watching Sew Anastasia today. I hope you had fun sewing a button with me. If you have any questions or comments, leave it below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you're in Chicago, come take a sewing class with me or I would love to make you a custom garment. And as always, follow me on Instagram at Sew Anastasia and Anastasia Chatska. And have you heard, I have a TikTok. 
So make sure you check me out on TikTok under So Anastasia. Don't forget to hit the notification button so you get all of my other videos. And make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.